now I know. Fairy tales are real. Something for everyone. Stuart Little, my family album. Hi, I'm Stuart Little, and this is a picture of me. I'm four and a half inches tall. Even though I'm small, I still manage to get into all sorts of adventures. I used to live in an orphanage with lots of other kids. Mrs. Keeper took care of us. She tried to find the perfect family and home for each child, including me. The trouble was, Nobody wanted a mouse for a son. Until Mr. and Mrs. Little visited the orphanage. There were so many kids to choose from, but Mr. and Mrs. Little said they looked at me and just knew. Just like that, I became Stuart Little. My parents took me to the most wonderful place in the world, my new home. There I met my new brother, George, who wasn't too happy to see me. I guess George didn't want a mouse in the family. And neither did Snowbell, the family cat. As soon as I walked through the door, Snowbell tried to eat me. My parents tried to make me feel at home. My room was already in waiting for me. Everything was just a little bit big for a mouse my size. Which made things very tricky. One morning, I was brushing my teeth when George accidentally threw me down the laundry chute with his pajamas. I ended up in the washing machine. Luckily, my mom rescued me just in time. I was one very wet and very clean mouse. Little by little, I started to really feel like one of the family. And what a family it is. All of the little relatives came to my party to meet me. It was a fairy tale come true. Everything was going well, except George still didn't like me. But he did like to build miniature models, and he had created an amazing miniature world in the basement. There was a train set, a western town, a miniature car, and an incredible model sailboat called the Wasp. George let me help him finish building the boat, and we entered it in the Central Park boat race. At the last minute, the boat's remote control broke. I sailed the Wasp and won the race. George had never been prouder of his new brother, me. Now everything was perfect until Mr. and Mrs. Stout arrived. They said that they were my mouse parents and they wanted me to live with them. With tears in my eyes, I packed my suitcase and left with the Stouts. Little did we know that Snowbell and a mean group of alley cats had convinced the Stouts to lie. They weren't my parents after all. My mom and dad told the police what had happened. It didn't look like I was ever gonna see the Littles again. But my brother George wouldn't give up. He plastered posters about me all over the city while I left the Stouts and tried to escape the alley cat's clutches and find my way home. In the end, it was Snowbell who saved me. He realized that I was a true little little after all. And he stood up to the alley cats and defended my honor. Now we're one big happy family.